Melissa and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. You guys are all in for a treat. I'm gonna share a little taste of my childhood with you tonight. This is a uh, linguine de longo, sauteed peppers de longo, cheesy garlic bread. De longo? No, that's uh, the freezer. <laughs> How can we wait for Lennox to come home? Cause Ryder's hungry and he's a growing boy. Like, calm down, Ryder. We'll eat in a second, okay? <laughs> She said she'll be home by six. Oh, come on, she's at the mall. She's probably eating fast food, you know, which is the way I like my food. So can we step on it, Longo? You're the one that wanted us to have family dinners every night. Don't you remember Oprah came to you in that dream and said that kids that eat with their families stay out of trouble? And you woke up screaming, don't we all get free cars? Yeah, well, I've thought more about it. And I have a better way to keep kids out of trouble. You tell them exactly what to do. Ryder, did I tell you not to do drugs? Yes, ma'am. And are you doing drugs? No, ma'am. There you have it. And don't call me ma'am. Yes, sir. Oh, there you are, my sweet child. Oh, I made them wait for you. So get this. The weirdest thing happened to me at the mall while I was in the ladies' bathroom. Oh, my God, you are never going to the mall by yourself again. Mark, Mark, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you go naming a law after Lennox, let's hear her side of the story. Continue, Lennox. Okay, this lady gave me her business card. Tasha de la Garza, Earth Models. It's a modeling agency. She was at the mall looking for fresh new faces. In the ladies' room? <laughs> she said that I have a look that's authentic. Oh, okay. And how many authentic dollars is she trying to squeeze out of you? You were so suspicious. Okay, $500 for a training course. <laughs> Honey, scams like this happen all the time. A woman stops you in the mall, says you're pretty, you hand over your birthday checks, never hear back, and then that pig-nosed Petty Dunlop makes fun of you saying, models are never that short, Mel Burke. <laughs> or whoever. Okay, Burke, so you got duped. Maybe Lennox is, you know, an inch or two savvier than you are. Shouldn't she at least get a chance to see for herself? See what? The modeling agents just want anorexic zombies to hang clothes on? <laughs> anyway, Tasha was a model herself. And her agency's different. It's all about real girls with real bodies. She invited me to come by her office tomorrow. Okay, well, the only way you're going down there is with me. And when we get to Tasha's seedy, dream-killing lair, I'll show you what this filthy, dirty, stinking scam's all about. Hear that, Lennox? Randy's completely on board. <laughs> it's all good. All good. It's okay. Aunt Mel, a seedy hellhole where dreams go to die. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. It's a penthouse where dreams go to die. You watch. Oh, there's Tasha. And she doesn't remember a single girl she hands her card out to. Lennox Elizabeth Scanlon, I'm so glad you made it. You have a middle name? Uh huh. And this must be your Aunt Mel. She doesn't appear to be kicking and screaming. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> Lennox, I want you to meet some of the other models. This is Lee Chong and Nala. Why don't you girls show Lennox your portfolio so she can see the work that we do here? Thank you. Hey. Your niece has a special quality you don't often find in girls her age. Oh, you mean an aunt with a checkbook? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, $500 for a training course? I don't charge the girls that I scout myself. This isn't one of those fly-by-night agencies that bilk naive, hopeless wannabes out of their sweet 16 money. Yeah. <laughs> How pathetic. <laughs> Nala's portfolio was amazing. And she told me that after the last shoot, they donated all the clothes to a homeless shelter. Wow, I hope all the homeless are a size zero. You know, Lennox, I sent a couple of those pictures that I took you at the mall to a department store. They expressed interest. You hear that, Mo? I have interest. Yes, I know. This is all very exciting, but aren't we rushing it? I mean, Lennox doesn't know the first thing about modeling. Do you know how to smile and wear a sweater? Yep. We're good. <laughs> Today was the day, Joe. I walked up to Holly Rebeck and used that line you gave me. He looked like Taylor Swift's prettier sister, only prettier. It's a vintage longo right there. <laughs> Back in the day, it was uh, Alyssa Milano. Who? <laughs> anyway, she blushed, just like you said. Now, did you ask her something personal about herself and then furrow your brow like you were really listening to her? Yeah, I furrowed so hard, I popped a zit. <laughs> Way to commit, buddy. Way to commit. <laughs> All right, so look, now your next move is to invite her over to the house for a little study date. <clears throat> My house? No, your beach house, player. <laughs> Matthew, you've been studying for a while, all right? You uh, turn to her and you say, are you hungry? 
because I just happen to have a pizza made courtesy of my best buddy Joe. And then you suggest watching a DVD from the uh, vintage Longo movie collection. So now you're over on the couch, you dim the lights, you slide your arm around her. And that, my young squire, is the beginning of what we call a serious date. I'm gonna ask Holly for tomorrow night. You think I should shave? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that, that, that one crazy hair in your chin there definitely needs cutting. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, that was an eyelash. <laughs> Hey, I heard the good news. Lennox is gonna be doing a little photo shoot. It's an offer. I haven't decided whether I'll let her make this terrible, horrible, life-altering mistake. You know, Burke, most people worry about things when they actually have something to worry about, but uh, not you. Hey, look, it all starts with one innocent photo shoot. The next thing you know, they're flying you around the world, paying you gobs of money, and for what? You know, standing there in your underwear? With wings? <laughs> I just don't want Lennox going off the track, you know? I don't want her to veer off and become... Uh, happy, independent, huh? Her own person? Shallow, naked, Leo DiCaprio's arm candy? <laughs> I, look, I invested a lot in these kids, okay? I've made sacrifices to take care of them. I just have to protect Lennox. From what? Hey, um, Aunt Mel, Tasha needs you to sign this contract for the shoot tomorrow. Aha! From this. I want to protect her from this. Hey, be careful where you're pointing that thing. Let me see this. <laughs> Oh, boy, this takes me back. God, when I worked in Scanlon, I'd pound through four or five of these babies a day, examining the fine print, looking for loopholes, working late into the night. <laughs> God, I miss my old life. Uh, so what does it say? What are they going to pay her, like a buck? Yeah, 750 of them. Holy crap, just for standing there in a fuzzy turtleneck? I guess I have what they're looking for. <laughs> a face and a neck. <laughs> Jeez, Burke, what are we going to do? I mean, it's all going, um... Horribly, terribly fine! <laughs> Smiles, ladies. I really think she could have a career doing this. Lennox just pops on camera. Oh, that's a nice thought, but she's gonna pop into college. Modeling is how I put myself through college. What? Like, real college or like one of those internet deals? <laughs> Big stone building with the sign on the front that read Princeton. Wow, and your aunt didn't have to, I mean, your family didn't have to pay for any tuition? No, and my father was pretty happy, I have to say. Smile, baby. The camera loves you. <laughs> hey, money guy. Me? Wow, it's been a long time since uh, somebody's called me that. <laughs> Say it again. Slowly. No. Now, come over here and tell me which one of these college savings accounts would make most sense for Lennox. All right. Well, you need to look for the administrative fees and the uh, expense ratios and, you know, all the commissions and... All right, brain shutting okay. down. Just pick one. Here, go with this one. It's got shiny paper. You know, Tasha seems to think Lennox can put herself through college with the money she's going to make from modeling. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going to let her go through with it now? Oh, it must be nice not to worry about things you said ten minutes ago. All right, well, Lennox said she wants to contribute to the household, you know, and if... If she's able to pay for her own college, then I can take the money I was saving for that and put it towards more worthwhile projects. Uh, is that a bathroom? Uh, it's considerably more than a bathroom. Whirlpool tub, steam shower, towel warmer, a memory foam toilet seat. Oh, it's just like the one down at the gas station. It's a dream deferred. So this was your big sacrifice, huh? You gave up your, um, deluxe custom crapper that memorizes your butt? Okay, it's a home spa oasis, and I was happy to give it up. But now that Lennox can pay for her own college, I can finally build Tara. You named your potty Tara? You may think it's silly, but frankly, Longo, I don't give a damn. You're staring at me again, Ryder. Oh, sorry. I don't know about you, Holly, but studying makes me hungry. <laughs> I just got an idea just now. How about we have a pizza while we watch a movie? Well, like, what movie? I have a whole collection of Academy Award-winning best pictures. <laughs> Old movies? Like with the big gorilla that climbs the Eiffel Tower and says, we'll always have Paris? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> What do you know? Peach is almost ready. 
We can watch something on TV. I like seeing people getting humiliated and voted off things, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Folks show. Don't use words that aren't words. Never again. Have I got a treat for you two. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, um, what are those circle-y things? Those are olives. I don't like olives. Have you ever tried them? No, because I don't like them. I'll pick them off for you. Without ruining this magnificent pie. N no, but it'll still have olive poo on it. Besides, it looks really greasy. Greasy? I think it's just shiny. Well, it's shiny because it's greasy. <laughs> okay, so no um, shiny, greasy, olivey, four hours in the making pizza then. So, TV's in there. Thanks for everything, Joe. <laughs> Women, huh? Here you go. Pizza for breakfast? Plenty more where that came from. Wow, Joe, this is fantastic. Damn straight it is. Is that greasy? You see any grease on there? No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah? Not too much uh, olive poo? Oh, hey, Ryder, there's pizza for breakfast. You want some? I don't know if I should. Oh, dude, not up. She's not even here. She'll know. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take one piece and then take another shower. Never seen a guy cheat on a girl before with a slice of pizza. Hey, somebody we know has an ad in today's paper, and I'll give you a hint. It's not a city council woman or a smart-ass know-it-all who works for me. Burke, I'm standing right here. Oh my God, my first ad. There she is. It's my niece. It's you. Well, mostly me. What do you mean? Well, that's my face, but I don't know who that is from the waist down. They made my thighs the size of my arms. It's even smaller than that. That's like Ryder's arms. Hey, come on. They touch up photos all the time. I mean, haven't you seen the picture of me on the city council website? I didn't complain that they airbrushed me up a cup with little to no prodding. <laughs> Modeling is a means to an end. It'll get you the things you want in life. You just have to think about the big picture. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. It's gonna get me my mini. <laughs> Your mini skirt for college? My mini Cooper? So you don't have to buy it for me. Oh, I can show you the virtual one I designed online. Hey, maybe you could park it in Mel's virtual bathroom. <laughs> Okay, hold it. Uh, see, Lennox, you're using your modeling money for college because that's the plan we all had in my mind. That's so nice of you, Burke, to take all of the, um, you know, bothersome thinking and deciding off of Lennox's hands. Good Aunt Mel, I have it all worked out. First it's the car, then a year in Europe, and then college. Or not. <laughs> Ooh, I can open my own animal sanctuary and live on a boat. No, a floating animal sanctuary. Okay, Lennox, slow down. I appreciate no, that No, 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 I appreciate you. Thanks for convincing me not to freak out about the whole airbrush thing. You know, like you said, big picture. Okay, she is way too young to be making these kinds of important decisions. Says the youngest council person ever elected in this city's history. Oh, sure, just throw my success in my face. Yeah, I think I just did. You know, don't give me that look. Want me to airbrush it? Like you own a brush. <laughs> But I didn't wave to Zach in the hall. Then what was this? Jazz hands? I thought we agreed you would only talk to the approved list of friends I gave you. This is for your own good, Ryder. You know what? You're right. Thank you. So you want to uh, listen to music, play the Wii, watch Justin Bieber blow his hair out of his eyes? I'm going to eye him, my friends. <laughs> um, but I thought you came over so we could do something together. Well, we are. See, you'll sit here while I text. Okay. So who you text? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I'm just going to get a snack. Nothing crunchy. Look, I don't know how to put this to you uh, delicately, but um, she is killing you, bro, okay? <laughs> she has spayed and neutered you. How much more are you gonna stand for? I like her and she likes me. What part of you does she like? <laughs> she likes my, uh, she, she likes it when, she likes it when I don't fight back. What, 
are you married? Listen, right. I know, Joe, I know. Help me, Joe. Help me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, look, there is an exit strategy. Holly, I think you're unbelievably pretty. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> And it's so cool that you're going out with me. Oh, stop. But it's just not working. Let me put this in reality show terms. America has spoken. I'm voting myself out of this relationship. Aw, that is so cute. But it's not going to happen. L look, Holly, I'm not kidding. It's just, it's just... Can I get you anything? <laughs> Lemonade, and not that hideous powdered stuff. Yeah, I would never do that to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. I don't know what happened. I, I was talking to her, I was saying everything you said, and then there were these lips, two of them, and uh, <laughs> I think I blacked out. I mean, all the blood in my brain went somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really expect you to win that one anyway. Women don't fight fair. <laughs> but on the plus side, I did get you kissed. Yeah, you did. Th that, that took a lot of work. Does it get any easier? If by easier you mean, um, soul-crushing and expensive, then yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone in wardrobe on their marks, and let's have some big smiles. It was a great day on the slopes, and you're all excited about having hot cocoa while you hit on each other. This coat is amazing. How do they make it feel like real fur? It's a special process where they kill a real animal. You mean this is a fake? No, it's really dead. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, I want to see a lot of pointing, winking, and good times. Uh, feel free to let your minds go blank. <laughs> you, frowny girl. I was just wondering, could I talk to Tasha for a moment? Sure, why not? It's not like anyone's busy working. <laughs> I'm starved. Oh, well, you're out of luck here. This is all the stuff I pick out of my salad. No, these bean sprouts are really good. I pretend they're french fries. Oh, that's funny. I eat french fries and pretend they're bean sprouts. <laughs> it is a good thing that Joe packed Lennox a sandwich. Well, half a sandwich. <laughs> oh, God. Is that bread? Put that away. Somebody will see it. How about if I hide it in my stomach? <laughs> Yeah, but we don't want to encourage people to buy stuff with real fur, do we? Of course not. But the client does, and we need to keep them happy. So forget about that dead animal around your neck and go frolic in the snow. Well, can I at least wear something else, like maybe one of the sweaters? No, those are pretty fitted. We wanted to put you in the jacket because it's more flattering for your body type. What's wrong with my body type? Nothing. But this is a big job, and they like the thinner girls. Can we shoot this before my happy pills wear off? Uh, I just, can I just have one more minute? Just, Emma, look at this. Ooh, it's so soft. It's your real fur. Oh, it's so wrong. <laughs> well, uh, can't they put you in one of the other outfits? I asked, but see, they said they had to keep me in this fur burqa on account of me being enormous. Really? They said that? Well, in so many words. You know, this is not how I thought it would be. I want a car and an animal shelter and college. And this whole thing's just starting to feel a little creepy. What should I do? What should you do? Well, I'll tell you exactly what you're gonna do. You... You're gonna make your own decision, kiddo. Oh, man, the one time I ask you to tell me what to do. Ironic, isn't it? Can we get a couple shots before these kids need Botox? <laughs> Okay, you're happy, you're hormonal, you're America's teenagers. <laughs> There's the smile I was looking for. Yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> this is not who I am. Lennox, sweetie, no one cares who you are. <laughs> when you're a model, you can't pick and choose the jobs you want. You wear what they tell you to wear. You'll never have a career any other way. Oh, I'll have a career. Just not this one. Bye. Did you give me a lift home? Of course. Oh, but first, there's something I have to do. Here, eat! Live! No! Stop! No! Stop! Don't feed the bottles! Wait, I have jelly beans, too! Sugar! Too 
Tara. I guess you and I just weren't meant to be. Oh. You breaking up with your imaginary toilet? Why don't you just write a, uh, you know, a Dear John letter? Lennox isn't modeling anymore, so I'm back to paying for college, and, you know, I don't even think I really helped her. Sure you did. You gave her some space to decide for herself, and she realized it wasn't the right thing. Mm, not enough. Okay, how about this? Um, you were right from the very beginning. Mm. Say it again. Slowly. Okay. Um, you told Lennox that uh, modeling probably wasn't the best idea for her, and you, Mel Burke, were 100% correct. You just didn't believe enough in your own advice. Because you told me I was wrong. You should learn to tune me out. Really? No, not really. You should listen to me at all times. Except when it comes to modeling. <clears throat> oh, so that's your one weak spot? Yes, otherwise I really do know everything. <clears throat> oh. So what's for dinner? Not a clue. So who do you think's getting voted off? The anger girl with the nose ring or the bitter guy who's been naked all month? Shh. I can't concentrate with all of your blabbing. Sorry. Can I hold your hand? Fine. Whatever. But light pressure. And sit up straight. Slouching gives you an old man pouch. Can you believe that? I know. She's feisty. I like her. Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. There, done with the wedding favors. Ah, oh, look at you. Who knew you were so skilled at attaching bows to useless crap? Ha! Huh. You're right. Listen, I intend to throw my cousin Emily the best damn lesbian wedding ever for under $5,000. Wow, if that were a reality show, I'd definitely watch anything else. So why are you going to all this trouble for a cousin that you never see? Because I'm a nice person who does nice things for people all the time. Especially when a crowd gathers. Okay, which do you think is better, chocolate cake or vanilla? Um, well, it's a wedding, so, you know, I go with vanilla. Mm, yeah, good thinking. Make that. No, no, I'm not gonna do this just for a couple of strangers. Oh, they're here! Nellie! Emmy! Oh, and this is Bianca. Bianchi, get in here. You're probably now we're about to be. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you're doing all this, the ceremony, the decorations. You're just so, so... Selfless, generous, fabulous. You don't have to pick just one. <laughs> Emily told me you're doing everything yourself. Well, not everything. I'm making the cake. Hi, I'm Joe. Come here, you two. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, they're family. Hot, hot family. <laughs> It's all good, all good, it's okay, okay, it's all right, all right, as far as I can see, it's all good, all good, it's okay, okay, it's all right, all right, I guess you're stuck with me. So anybody can make an okay wedding cake, but to make a great wedding cake, you need the um, secret ingredient. Love? Scaffolding. <laughs> Writer, forget the cake. This wedding video should make a statement about gay marriage and how our intolerant society refuses to accept it. We could totally stick it to all the homophobic weasels. Okay, honey, just make sure you get my good side. <laughs> hey, Joe, you want to see a picture of Emily naked? Ooh, you know I do. Yeah. This is a baby. She's in a diaper. Yeah, but who's the cuter baby next to her? It's me, baby Mel. <laughs> I'm just looking for good pictures for the slideshow. Oh, is that the school play? Yeah. I was Peter Pan, and she was Nana the dog. Well, the back end of the dog. Oh, and here we are at our camp swim meet. I got first place. She got pink eye. You're seeing a pattern here, Burke. Um, you were always the star, and she was basically the dog's ass. Yeah, but despite that, we were like sisters, you know? I'm, until puberty. 
That's where she finally came in first. No. Oh, yeah. Wow, no offense there, Berkey, but uh, she left you in the dust there. <laughs> it's dust with a double D. And yet, I still beat her out for prom queen. Uh, with, with love and respect, um, how? Oh, uh, well, she was suspended from school and banned from the prom. I mean, it, it wasn't anything I did, you know, or planted in her locker that the principal found, like schnapps. I see. So that's why you're doing all this, because you still feel guilty. A little. And I want the whole family to see that Mel Burke has changed. So I am unselfishly giving Emily the greatest gift one woman can give another. A kidney? I'm letting her get married before me. And if she ever needs a kidney, she can die knowing she got married first. That is every dead girl's dream. And the napkin color is selected. It's ivory by a landslide. Suck it, Peach. All right, who wants to go outside and talk flower placement? Oh, I would love to, sweetie. Uh, whatever you want. I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Oh, I see you found Mrs. Wright. <laughs> Look at you getting all married before me. Looking good. Oh, you think it looks good now? What do you see with the frosting on it? Because the uh, frosting will be the icing on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Must be hard to focus on your work with all these hot women in the house. Yeah, it's hard, but you know, I find a way to soldier on. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't mind having a hot guy in my house. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, the, the, actually, the most important thing about making a cake is these uh, four dowels, because it prevents the top tier from... Hands! <clears throat> Can I get a little close there? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Bianca, Emmy wants you out there to approve centerpiece placement, and by that, I mean not at what she's already decided. Isn't that what marriage is all about? <laughs> oh, look. Cake toppers. I had to buy two full sets and throw away the grooms. Bianca just hit on me. <laughs> Very funny. I'm serious. She just put her hands on me. Bianca, and you're clear on what a lesbian is? I thought so. Okay, show me on the bride where the bad lady what, touched you... you. I'm serious, all right? She just touched me. Yeah, well, people touch people all the time. Wow, you really have an unbelievable ego. Well, I, I have an unbelievable ego. You're, you're the one making this whole day about you. I mean, come on, you know, have your wedding at my house. Look at all the amazing things I'm doing for you. Check out my hot nanny. Uh, and what exactly is it you want me to do about this figment of your imagination? Tell the bride. The, the other bride. No way. No, and ruin my special day? Their special day? <laughs> You saw what she did, didn't you? Morning. Hey. Twinkle lights for the trellis? Anything else I can do? No, 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 no. Everything's handled. So, how many of these cards have you done? Oh, a few. Million. <laughs> Getting a little hand crampy. Oh, you poor thing. Here. How's that? It feels great. <laughs> it's not just the muscles in your hand. Tension can start in your wrist. Your forearms. No, I think the tension's staying way down here where it's safe. <laughs> Ready up to your shoulders and your neck. Your lovely neck. Hands! Hands! <laughs> so you've never been with a woman? Nope, never. Nope, not even in college with my friend Renee. Um, I better drink the lights. <laughs> You're doing looks wonderful. My, my, my. It just really looks great. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Bianca just hit on me. God, you're competitive. Oh, I swear. Yeah, she tried the old, you know, you look tense, let me give you a hand massage. Oh, I don't usually fall for that. Sober. Well, relax, Bert, because unlike certain people, I believe you. And watch how I'm not gonna say, I told you so. Oops. I'm sorry I was dismissive before. Well, you gotta tell Emily now. Man, but what about the wedding I'm throwing for Emily? You don't wanna show my family I'm a good person. A good person would save her cousin from this man-eater. Woman-eater. <laughs> People-eater. We're here with Emily Burke, lesbian-American, on the day of her commitment ceremony with her partner. 
Now, tell us, how angry are you that so many people in the world refuse to acknowledge the validity of your gay love? Oh, all of our friends are coming. They've been nothing but supportive. I just wish my parents were here. Aha! Stuck in an older generation's intolerance. No. No, they're just stuck in traffic. <laughs> so, uh, tell us a story of how you and Bianca met. Was it a protest rally? Did the cops tear gas you? Uh, not quite. It was a singles mixer at our church. <laughs> Strangely, there was tear gas. Really? No, no, I was just trying to give you something. <laughs> For God's sake, writer, cut. We're getting nothing. Hey, uh, we watch the WNBA all the time. <laughs> Don't patronize me. So I can use Lennox's room to change? Yeah, you know, your clothes, your mind, whatever you want. God, I'll never be able to thank you for all of this. You've done everything to make it the perfect day. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, well, is anything ever really perfect? Well, the love Bianca and I have for each other comes pretty close. Love's a funny thing, you know? Um, you could love someone, and they could love touching other people. I'm not sure I follow you. I'm just saying, if, if you wanted to, you know, call off the whole wedding, I would not be mad that all my work was for nothing. Okay, spit it out, Mal. You haven't been this evasive since Schnapsgate. <laughs> Bianca made a pass at Joe. She did what? I'm sorry, she, you know, she grabbed him in his grabby parts. Well, the hind ones. <laughs> This must be a mistake. Bianca's a very physically expressive person. Besides, she is not into guys. It's one of the things that brought us together. <laughs> well, she, uh, yeah, she kind of made a pass at me, too. Oh, I see what's going on here. You can't stand it when someone else has the spotlight. Ever since that summer when I developed before you did. God, I can't believe this. You're more obsessed with breasts than I am, and I'm crazy for those puppies. No, Emily, I, I'm just trying to protect you. Please don't go through with this. I am getting married before you. Deal with it. Now, can we just forget we ever had this conversation? Ugh. Well, I told Emily, and she didn't believe me. So that's it? We just give up? Let Emily marry this cheater? This crazy, hot cheater? Wait, what are we supposed to do? We can't convince her without proof. Wait a minute. What, what about if we put a video camera up in your room? You know, and then, and then we can lure Bianca in. Get her to make a pass, catch it on tape, bang! So to speak. A hidden camera? Oh, come on. Hey, it worked in American Pie. <laughs> but you, you can't argue with that. That's a historical fact. OK, all right, well, use me as bait. What? Well, you? No, look, if we want this plan to work, I need to be the bait. What? No, I, I'm a woman. I'm less bait. <laughs> look, she came on to me first, and I rejected her. You were the rebound pass. <laughs> You know what, we don't have time to argue. I'll go get the camera and you can be the peanut butter in the trap. Everybody loves peanut butter. <laughs>
Hey, Bianca. That might make me gay. <laughs> yeah, it's just the outfit is trying too hard, you know? What, uh, what about your purple Henley? Yeah, because, you know, you, it's fitted, but not too tight, and it really brings out your eyes. I mean, that's just a statement of fact. It's in no way an endorsement. You like the Henley, huh? Not that much. OK, so the camera is linked to my laptop, so I'll be able to monitor all the action. Well, you know, not the action action, just the, the pre-action. Please don't at any point get to the action. I got it. I got it. Get out of here, will you? Send her in. Oh, yeah, I'd ride this ride. <laughs> Peanut butter. Oh, excuse me. Mel told me this room was available. It is. Very available. <laughs> as well as anything you see in it. Let me take that dress for you. I'll just, uh, hang it up over here. Smooth, Longo. What are you doing in here? Anything you want me to be doing. For instance, I could, um, help you with that bag. And just put it, uh, right over here. Can I help you with anything else? Because, um, you know, I could take care of anything you could possibly need. With a very gentle touch. Well, I guess there is one thing you could do for me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Please leave so I can get ready. What, well, are you... Are you sure? Bye. Well, because I... I got other shirts. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it. It's like she was immune to my powers of seduction. You mean like she's gay? You think you could do better? I know I can. Watch and learn. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, you're, you're gonna go upstairs wearing that? Of course you're gonna do great. You know, you look... okay in that? <laughs> Just go seduce the lesbian and stop your cousin's wedding. Sup, girlfriend? Of Emily? <laughs> Not much. Just getting married? What's up with you? I, I just uh, came up here to look for something. Um, I think I left it on the bed over there. <laughs> Can you help me find it? What are we looking for? Oh, it's, uh, oh, I found it. It's the light in your eyes. It does something to me. You did not just say that. I can't stop thinking about how you asked me if I've ever been with a woman, and no, I haven't. Yeah, you told me that this morning. Well, you know, that now the thought is under my skin like an itch, and um, I just thought maybe you could scratch it. <laughs> Meow. Uh, Mel? It's my wedding day. I know, makes it even hotter, doesn't it? <laughs> I know you got all sorts of issues, but could you maybe take them downstairs? But, no, I don't have issues. I, uh, I just came to help. You know, if you need anything zipped or unzipped. Yeah, goodbye, Mel. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, you know you want it. Is it possible we're not as hot as we think we are? <sighs> I guess it's possible. <laughs> I mean, she had a shot at this. And that. We're here for hair and makeup. Can you tell us where we find Bianca? Oh, yeah, right up those stairs, first door. Huh. Well, I better go apologize to Emily. I feel just awful. Hey, look, if it's any consolation, uh, you know, if I saw you in a bar and I didn't know you and you didn't speak or interact with me in any way, I would probably hit that. Aw, thanks. And if I saw you in a bar, I'd be all... Who's looking after the kids? <laughs> no, seriously, you look fine. Okay, we're in major trouble. Perhaps it wasn't a good idea to piss off the caterer. He was a bigot. Get over it. Well, I called every other catering place in town. They laughed at me. We can always order a bunch of pizzas. But this is a wedding, not a Super Bowl party. <laughs> pizzas aren't classy enough. Unless... Unless you cut them into little squares and call them pizzettas. <laughs> Watch a lot of Top Chef.
Everybody's outside. We can talk in here. Fine. What is it? Who did Bianca feel up now? Oh, my grandma was looking kind of happy. Oh, uh, Bianca didn't do anything. It turns out the whole thing was in our minds. Well, mostly in Joe's. I'm sorry. You should be sorry. Well, look, just let me get this off my chest before you walk down the aisle. There's more? Well, you know, we thought we needed proof, so Joe and I took a camera, mostly Joe, and put it in my bedroom, and uh, we tried to get Bianca to hit on us so that you could see it for yourself. You bitch! I know, I know. I, you have every right in the world to say that. I'm not you, Bianca! Uh, oh, my. With the hair guy? And the makeup girl. And on my brand new duvet. Oh, I am gonna kill her. Well, not on the duvet. Where the heck is she good? Hello. No, that's not how you turn it off. No, no, I'm just trying to zoom in here. Hold on. Canceling the wedding sure throws a wrench in the honeymoon. Hey, you should still go on the cruise. By myself? Yeah, sure. I mean, maybe you'll beat somebody nice. A whole boat full of like-minded ladies. <laughs> to a whole new start. Oh, thank you, Melly. And I'm so sorry I didn't believe you about Bianca. I understand. I don't have the best track record. You know, but I really was just looking out for you. I know you were. And hey, you know what? You could still beat me to the altar. <laughs> Doubt it. There isn't anybody I can see that happening with. Ladies, can I offer you some uh, pizzettas? If you like them, I have 5,000 more of these in the kitchen. Oh, by the way, I loaded up your car with the uh, first round of presents, okay? Even the one that was um, vibrating. Thank you, Joe. That's my, uh, it's my toothbrush. I'm just gonna go turn it off. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible about what happened, you know? Like, like I'm somehow responsible. Wow, we even grab the credit when things go wrong. You're right, Joe. I'm selfish. Always have been, always will be. Yep, you are probably the most selfish person I've ever met. I mean, look at you, you know, you, you took your sister's two kids in, turned your life completely upside down, and every day you work tirelessly to make the city a better place to live. Same old party girl Burke, I don't even know how you live with yourself. Really? You think I'm okay? Yeah. <laughs> You know, this cake really is a thing of beauty. Yeah, thank you. Sturdy as a rock, too. You won't be able to knock that thing over. Go ahead. Give it a try. Good luck. Wow, as fun as that sounds, I actually prefer to eat my cake. Yeah? All right, well, first of all, you have to cut the cake correctly. Yeah, I know how to cut a cake. No, obviously, you don't know how to cut a cake, okay? Because you were trying to cut it, but it was not correct. You need to cut it like a pie, all right? So, look, you kind of go in like this. Scoop it up under. Perfect. Nice. Boom. Just like that. All right, let's see. Can you give it a taste? Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh? What? What's the matter? No, it's, it's not very moist. Not moist? What are you talking about? No. Here, try. It's perfectly moist. <laughs> you know what? No, you're wrong. That's actually, um, it's actually very, very moist. <laughs> you know, the thing about it is that, um, I just don't think you had a big enough bite, see? <laughs> Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Thanks to a certain city council person, me, Christmas comes early this year. Three new electric buses for the city of Toledo. Not only are they green, but they also have that new bus smell. <laughs> Where are the kids? They know I like a little applause when I get home. Big school project. Ryder is upstairs bagging up old bedding to send to Haiti. Lennox is out in the neighborhood collecting shoes to send to Haiti, and I am stuffing envelopes asking for clothes to send to Haiti. It's all about, um, the Haiti. Well, don't leave me out. What can I do for Haiti? Lick this. 
I got it all covered, all right? I set up the phone tree, set up the collection points, even got the chick at the mail shop to donate free shipping. She, um, digs me. She's 80. Yeah, she's also very handsy. <laughs> These uh, jeans, they're like catnip for her. I also help Ryder out with his American History Project, and I help Lennox out with her science model. What, are you trying to be a hero? No, I take care of everything in the home, and you take care of the 300,000 people of Toledo. <laughs> that is the uh, division of labor in this house. Yeah, but we could switch it up, you know? Like, say sometime I could cook. Okay, that sounded crazy, even to me. <laughs> you know, but I don't like feeling left out of the loop. Tomorrow, I'm gonna drive the kids to school and find out firsthand what's going on over at Grant High. You better bring your bolt cutters if you want to get in, because tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> I hope you get a paper cut on your tongue. It's all good, all good. It's okay, okay. It's all right, all right. As far as I can see, it's all good, all good. It's okay, okay. It's all right, all right. I guess you're stuck with me. And that, my dear boy, is the hustle. All I said was, I wonder if they still make vinyl records. I don't think either one of us deserve to go through that. Well, that was the most supremely crappy day of my life. Oh, what was it, honey? A zit or a cramp or a guy ignored you? Because I had all three. Okay, can we stay on me? Because I got a D. My English teacher, Mr. Skimpole, gave it to me. He is such a colossal tool. Lennox, it's disrespectful to call your teacher a tool. Oh, no, it's a known fact. He's the tool that the other tools make fun of. <laughs> the assignment was to write a sample chapter for a novel, and Mr. Skimpole eviscerated mine. He said there's no way it could be turned into a 200-page novel. He said I have no sense of character development or story structure. What kind of an educator is that? The tool kind. <laughs> and I told him it could so be a novel, and I could write it, too. Absolutely. You need to stand up to naysayers like that. When I was gonna run for city council, they told me I was too young. I was too green. I was too blonde. But did you show them, Aunt Oh, Mel? but I showed them. <laughs> yeah, and you can show that tool, Mr. Skimpole. Hell yeah. I'm gonna write that novel. I have like a whole week and a half. <laughs> a week and a what? <laughs> a uh, week and a half until the grading period ends. I mean, if I turn in an entire brilliant novel, he'll have to change my grade. I'm gonna get started. That a girl? <laughs> Oh, 10 days to write a whole novel? She's out of her mind. I know, it's gonna be great. <laughs> hey, you're a big fan of my tri-tip, right? Oh, I love it. That's good to know. I didn't make any of that tonight. <laughs> what I do have is leftover fried chicken from last night that you can reheat, okay? Because I gotta get to a booster club meeting. Whoa, booster club? At the high school? I'll go. I mean, let me give you a break from all this, you know, kid-related activity. Nah, no, you know, you know, you know, these, these, these parent volunteer meetings can be very tricky. You know, I've already sort of established my position in the pack. You're gonna be like fresh meat to these booster ladies. You know, sort of like a, um, a lame zebra at a watering hole. Please, I'm in politics. You think I'm intimidated by the high school booster club? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Did you know all the gates at night are locked except one? I mean, well, of course you do. You're, you're boosters. Uh, sorry, I just, uh, go ahead. Don't let me, ooh, sorry, interrupt you. Too late for that. Who are you? Mel Burke. Excuse me. Um, Lennox and Ryder Scanlon's aunt? Well, you may know me better as council person, Mel Burke. Yeah, uh, you know, make Toledo work with Burke. Joe Longo is my nanny. Oh. He couldn't make it, so I'm here instead. Oh, Joe's not coming. We love Joe. He promised to bring his famous tiramisu. Oh, was that for you guys? I, I, cause I didn't see it. <laughs> Okay, back to the agenda. The annual fundraiser. Auction items. More ideas? I'm donating three sessions with my brother, the chiropractor. Oh. Yummy. And Evelyn, I remember you said you were donating six hours of home decorating consultation. Oh. Yummy. Oh, and Laura promised two lavish spa packages at Les Visage Vert. Oh. Oh. Mel Burke, council person, 7th District. Um, I have an exclusive item I'd like to donate to the auction. Attend a hearing of the Toledo City Council as my VIP guest. Will you have a great time? I. <laughs> great. Good to have some backup ideas. Okay, next item. Uh, you didn't write it on the board. Okay, how do I put this nicely? Um, perhaps if you had been at a few meetings, you'd know what it is we're trying to do here. <laughs> well, thanks for nicing it up for me. So, Glynis. What's this I hear about you offering up your condo for a weekend in Vail? <laughs> wow, a weekend in Vail? Double yum! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, good Lord. Yes? I have another item I'd like to donate. Uh, really? Is it as good as the last one? I don't know how it could be. <laughs> well, imagine this. The greatest night of your life. Your house, organized. Your dinner, gourmet. Your children taken care of by the greatest nanny this side of Mary Poppins, Joe Longo. Oh. You're donating Joe? Yeah, I am. Hmm. The best night of your life with Joe Longo. That's a yummy. <laughs> I had no idea Joe was such a generous man. Oh, yeah, neither does he. <laughs> Oh, look at that, the zebra limps home alive. How'd it go? Oh, you know how those meetings are. You know, everyone's got their matching Martha Stewart sticks up their butts, and everyone's trying to outdo everybody else with what they're donating to the auction. And I was like, hey, how about the best night of your life with Joe Longo? And everybody was like, yummy. And then there was this walnut ring that was definitely not yummy. Oh, stop. Wait a minute. I know, a walnut ring? It's like the most horrible thing ever. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you volunteered to donate me? I don't even know which word in there to emphasize. Well, all those ladies were treating me like a second-class citizen, you know, because I'm not technically a mom and I haven't technically been to any of their meetings, and they were all like, I'm donating an hour of microdermabrasion while I'm donating my condom and veil. So essentially, it was just a big uterus measuring contest then. I cannot believe this. I let you go to one meeting. Excuse me, you let me go to a meeting? Come on, those Booster Club ladies thought a night with Joe Longo was the best idea ever. Because of you, Joe. You know, you're amazing. I mean, your cooking is awesome, and the way you are with the kids, you have a gift, you know that? You know what? Don't try to butt kiss your way out of this. Please, Joe! Come on! It's for a good cause. The school band needs instruments. Uniforms. Well, at least I knew it was something to do with the band. Oh, my God. Come on! You have to go, or uh, look like a nobody in front of all those booster bimbos. I mean, for the kids! Do it for the kids! Ladies and gentlemen, the auction will begin in five minutes. You lighten up. I already thanked you like a thousand times. What else can I say? You're a saint for showing up for me. That's me, St. Joseph, patron saint of people who should have gone to booster club meetings instead of you. I'm only here to raise money for the school. Ooh, Ooh a rumba. Let's dance. No, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to dance with my owner. <laughs> Relative, overblown drivel, stupid, garbage, derivative. Uh, Lennox, what's up? You okay? No. Writing a novel in 10 days is a lot harder than I thought. All you wrote is A H H H. Yeah, it's pronounced ah. <laughs> I don't know who my characters are anymore. I don't know who I am anymore. No, Lennox, you cannot let Skimpole win. I already told all my friends you're taking him down. All of my street cred is writing on this. Yeah, well, how can I call myself a writer if I can't even organize a simple 200-page novel? You know, when I'm editing my digital films, I use index cards. All the great filmmakers use them. Quentin Tarantino, Tyler Perry. <laughs> what you do is you take the scenes or plot points and you write them on a card and then put them on a bulletin board and move them around. That's your advice? Write notes. Jot this down. Get out. Wow, you're pretty mean for a desperate person. I am not mean. I am creatively constipated. Oh, but you're still able to give me crap. Writer, come back. And bring index cards. Oh, and chocolate, the good stuff that Aunt Mo hides. <laughs> and we're up to $75 for our day of beauty. Do I hear 80? 80 once, 80 twice, $200 going once, going twice, sold to bidder number 51. Congratulations. She needs a day of beauty more than I do. You see those Louis Vuitton bags under her eyes? We got a bunch of drink tickets when we came in here, didn't we? Oh, I've only got a couple. Don't judge me, okay? They jacked the Chardonnay up to three tickets a pop. And our next item, lot number eight. The best night of your life with Joe Longo. Dinner and child care with a nanny per excellence, provided by Mel Burke. You provided Joe me? Joe Longo. I gave her great material and she isn't using it. Come here. Wait, no, I'm not going to. I don't, don't want to go Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I've got this. All right. <clears throat> hey, what the? All right. Let me tell you about Joe Longo. My nanny. 
I'm freelance. All right. When you have Joe Longo in your home, you don't just have a gourmet chef. All right, you don't just have a handyman. You don't just have a childcare expert. You have a ballroom dance master who can also bench press 200 pounds. Can we show him some love, people? All right, now I want to start the bidding on this impressive package at $150. Do I have 150? 150, all right, 200? Anybody? Come on, those paddles aren't just for playing ping pong, people. Come on, do you want to be beat out by a gluten-free muffin basket? You kids need help with math? Columbia MBA in the house. He's not kidding around, people. All right, do I hear uh, 200, 200, all right, 250? 250, all right, you know, take your jacket off, strut your stuff. I'm not taking no, my jacket off. I'm not taking my jacket off. All right, you I'll do take it. my jacket off. 250, all right, do I hear 300? 300, 350, anyone? 350, 400, 400, 450? Come on, people, how bad do you want it? $1,000. $1,000? Seriously? Uh, she said it, shut up, no backsies. All right, $1,000 going once, twice, sold to Trisha Atley Singer. 1,000 smackaroos for the band instruments. Uniforms. Uniforms. <laughs> See that? I just went for more than the condo in Vail. <laughs> Once again, Joe Longo brings in the cash. I know. Let them try to look down their noses at me now after I gave them the most desirable item in the auction. Item? Now I'm an item? <laughs> Ready to provide the best night of your life to the Atlee Singer family? It's not gonna be the best night of my life. I was just talking to one of the other booster moms. You know what they told me? Trish has got four kids. Yeah, little kids. So? You're great with kids. You know, Ryder and Lennox. Uh, Ryder and Lennox don't yell white me from the bathroom. <laughs> it's not gonna be a problem. You'll be fabulous with the kids. Just be prepared. So what should I do? Bring some finger paints and a puzzle? Sure, and if that doesn't work, try a juice box filled with vodka. <laughs> Are you crazy? I'm not giving alcohol to kids. Of course not. The vodka's for you. You bring duct tape for the kids. You're gonna make a great mom someday. Well, hello, Joe Longo. Hey, Trish. Oh, thank you. So look, uh, I stopped by the toy store on my way here. I hope your kids like uh, kerplunk. Oh, would you believe it? I got my days mixed up. This is the weekend the kids spend with their father. Oh. Okay, uh, so y you have a date coming over or something? Because I'll just cook for you two, and whatever's left over, you can just freeze for the kids. Sorry to say, it's just me. Oh. Well, I hope you like Kerplunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of a change, so um, what's the plan? Well, let's start with dinner, and then see where the night takes us. <laughs> These jeans are just deadly. <laughs> Joe, is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I was just, um, you know, calling to check in, just to see if you were tired of it. Tired of what? Being wrong. <laughs> you said tonight was gonna go great. Why, did something happen to the kids? Wouldn't know, the kids aren't here. Oh my God, did you lose them already? No, I didn't, I did not lose the kids. No, it's just me and Trish here, in her uh, love lair. Apparently she thought the uh, Joe Longo package includes Joe Longo's package. <laughs> what? Oh, I see. Now you care about what happens to me, huh? Joseph, it's just me and the pork loin over here, and one of us needs a nice spicy rub. <laughs> she paid a lot of money for this. I gotta go. <clears throat> Joe! Joe! Don't do it! The climax. Where is the climax? Oh, okay. Let's see. Martine discovers that her mother is in fact her father. Yes. <laughs> no, no, that should come at the end of chapter 10. It'll never work, Miss Scanlon. Mr. Skimpole, how did you get in here? Backstory, nobody cares. But how would you know? You don't even have a gripping opening sentence. That's not true, I have many gripping sentences. What, here or here? Certainly not here. <laughs> Face it, Miss Scanlon, you're a failure. You'll never be a real writer. Never. What? No, but I have to! <laughs> Even your nightmare material is desperately banal. Ah! 
Lennox? Who are you talking to? Mr. Skimpole. He was here. Lennox, you have a cough drop in your hair. I give up. I can't do this. No, no. No, Lennox, you are very talented and creative. You just need a little help organizing. So what happens first? Does Martine behead the vampire or do the skinny high school girls eat their classmates? I don't know. Yes, you do, Lennox. Dig deep. Okay, uh, skinny girls and then the vampire. Okay. Oh my God, that works. <laughs> ha, take that, Mr. Skimpole. Hey, thanks, Ryder. Oh no, don't thank me, thank Tyler Perry. <laughs> okay, dinner is all set, just need to stay in the broiler for like 20 more minutes. A lot can happen in 20 minutes. Can I tempt you? With some wine? No, nope, not for me, not while I'm working. <laughs> That's what I'm doing here tonight, just uh, doing my work. <laughs> well, there is something I wondered if you could do for me. Something I need a man for. Would you change that light bulb for Look, me? Look, Trish, I'm gonna have to draw the line in the sand right here. There's no way I'm gonna change the light bulb. Yes, <sighs> absolutely, of course, I'd love to do that. Yeah, <laughs> this one, all right. You have a little uh, step ladder or something? You can just stand in the chair. You don't, you, you don't, okay, fine, sure. Wow, look at you, such animal grace. <laughs> That's, yeah. Here, let me hold you so you don't fall. You've done this before. <laughs> yeah, but well, we can pretend it's my first time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. oh, who could that be? I don't know, but I'm gonna light a candle for whoever that is. <clears throat> Mel Burke? Hi. Mel, what are you doing here? Yes, what is this all about? Oh, quality control. Just, uh, you know, making sure my auction donation person is being enjoyed by the lucky lady who won it. Him. Ah, that's great. Come here, let me ask you something. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Wait, you're the one who called me in a panic. I wasn't in a panic. I just called to make you feel bad. Clearly, I've done that. So, I'll see you at home. Good night. Wait, mm. wait, 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 wait. What are you going to do with her? Why do you care? Because I don't want you to, you know, compromise your value as an auction item. <laughs> I thought I bought an evening with Joe Longo, not Joe Longo and his little keeper. Hey, uh, okay, it was a night with Joe Longo cooking and babysitting, and if you try for anything that's gonna skank that up, he's out of here. Mel, what are you doing? Okay, well, if he leaves, I'll let the school know that you reneged on your donation. You don't care about the school, you're never there, frankly. I question your commitment. What have you ever given Grant High? $1,100. What? what? Yeah, you bid $1,000 for him. I'm countering. 1,100. You can't restart the bidding, Mel. 1,200. Maybe you can. 1,300. 1,400. <laughs> These jeans are like magic. 1,500. 1,600. $2,000. $2,000. <laughs> it's been a while, huh, Councilwoman? Congratulations. You can have him. Do you see that? I won. I won. Yes, you won Joe Longo. Congratulations. You just spent $2,000 to have me do the job you're already paying me to do. Not even a moment of joy from you, is there? Oh, you're making me smile. <laughs> well, that evening went about as well as auctioning off human beings usually goes. <clears throat> I said I'm sorry. I just, you know, felt like I wasn't involved in all the school stuff you do. I thought I was doing the right thing. Lennox? Hey, Mel. I did it. I have a writer help me, and I finished my novel, and you told me I could do it, and I did it. Oh, good for you, sweetie. Now go upstairs and get some sleep. No, no, I can't. I gotta proofread this, otherwise Skimpole will win. You see, I told you, those kids need you, whether you know it or not. I mean, you really are an important influence in their lives. As chilling as that may be. I guess I am. I mean, so what if you don't pack any of their lunches, or, you know, take them to school, or... You know, show up at their sporting events or volunteer to chaperone any of their school trips. You know, like the one coming up to Washington, D.C. I mean, you know, you really are an important part of their lives. Thanks. There's a field trip to Washington, D.C.? Yeah, it's been on the master calendar for like weeks. Oh, okay. There's a master calendar? Yeah, it's right here. I keep everybody's schedule on it. See, you're the uh, blue. Oh, I'm blue? Then what are these five blue boxes in a row with the red X's in them? Hey! I gotta keep track of these things. It affects the whole household. <laughs>
Oh, Joe. Don't even think about it. What? I was just gonna say there's mustard on your shirt. What? Well, I uh, heard back from Mr. Skimpole about my novel today. Oh, are you okay? Do you want me to get the ice cream out of the freezer now so it's soft like you like it? Hey, Mel, before you go drowning your sorrows in ice cream soup, let's hear what about what actually happened. Go ahead. Okay, well, because I was so tired and Ryder was rushing to help me finish, we didn't actually get all the post-its out of the manuscript, and some pages still had notes written in the margins. Oh, mm. man. Mr. Skimpole thought the post-its were a bold, stylistic choice. Quote, the author's comments on her own work created an exciting postmodern vibe. I got an A. What? <laughs> Woo, that's fantastic. I knew you could do it. So, um, Lennox, tell us, uh, what is uh, your novel about? I don't explain my work. <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. In three, two, one. There they are. Oh, well, thanks for waiting up for us, Grandma. Hey, Joe. Fletcher. It is 11 o'clock on the dot. Last three times you guys have walked through that door, it's been exactly 11. You're like a cuckoo clock. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he's very reliable. He's very punctual. Well, I know how reliability gets you all hot and bothered, so... <laughs> I'll leave you two uh, punctual kids alone. I had a really nice time tonight. Good restaurant, right? Yeah, it was a great restaurant, good bottle of wine. If my mother had shown up sober to say she was proud of me, it would have been off the charts. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were waiting for your mother tonight? No, 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 it was just a, a little joke. <laughs> ah. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a little. I know. <laughs> so can I call you tomorrow? Sure, you can. It's four o'clock okay? Surprise me. Okay. <laughs> Sometime between 4 and 4.30. Ooh, the suspense. <laughs> so, three dates in a row with the same guy, huh? Has Fletcher finally cracked the Mel Burke code? Well, he keeps asking me out, and I keep saying yes. I mean, a girl's got to eat. That is uh, so incredibly romantic. <laughs> so you gonna cut him loose soon, or uh, squeeze a few more fancy meals out of him first? Oh, believe me, I'm not squeezing anything. <laughs> he's not, I, I don't know, I just don't think this thing has any legs, you know? He's a perfectly nice guy. Words that have never preceded sex. <laughs> the problem with him is, I don't know what the problem with him is. You find something wrong with every guy that you go out with. Not true. Of course it is. Why, I, I, Charlie stared at you too romantically, right? It made you all nauseous. And then there was a, a Jonathan with those massages. Yeah, well, his hands were cold and slimy. I mean, it was like when I touched the eel at the aquarium, but at least the eel had a little electricity. <laughs> and then there was that other guy you went out with. Uh, what was his name again? Sasha. Yeah, yeah, Sasha. What was uh, wrong with him? Uh, his name was Sasha. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll give you that one. <laughs> I tell you, you really do find the flaws in everyone, though. I'm glad you're not going out with me. God knows what you'd find wrong. Oh, do you want the full list, the top ten, or just the bullet points? You have a list? <laughs> do I have a list? <laughs> All right, let's see. For starters, uh, your arms, yeah, they're way too big. And, uh, oh, you always have an answer for everything. <laughs> That's only because when ah, you... Ah, 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 ah. Look, you don't have to swagger into every woman's life with your tool belt and hammer away at her problems. First of all, I don't hammer away. I fix. Oh, well, what if we don't need fixing? God, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Oh, 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 there it goes. Adios, Fletcher. <laughs> well, I just don't think... Look, he's not the future Mr. Mel Burke. And there's your problem. <laughs> it's all good. All good. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. All right. As far as I can see, it's all good. All good. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. All right. I guess you're stuck. With me. So, you have a crush on K? 
Kirsten Cullen? Wh what? No. But you like her. I don't know. I mean, I stare at her a lot, and I think about her at night and all other times. But <laughs> look, it doesn't matter because she doesn't know I exist. Ah, uh, the power of loser thinking. <laughs> Listen, Kirsten only hangs out with hipsters, and that's so not you. I'm cool inside. No, you're not. You're socially invisible. I mean, look at you. Why do you wear these things? They're in my drawer. They're in your drawer because even the clothes know they're not cool. And they're trying to hide. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you need so much help. Come on, let's fix you. What? I'm not that bad. Okay, the first step is admitting you have a problem. But I'm not- Admit it. <sighs> Fine. My name is Ryder and I'm not hip. Help me, please. Okay, first lesson. Hipsters don't say hip. And hey, Mel, look at you. I'm turning the knob to sizzling and going out with my girls. Wow, Burke. All this for a man you're about to dump. <laughs> That's kind of cruel. Okay, this is not for Fletcher. Whose flaw I figured out, by the way. He just doesn't get you? Yeah. It's like when I say something. He never violates back? Yeah, I have to wait forever. And then he just leaves you hanging. Like meat on a hook. By the way, try tip tomorrow night. So the more you going, looking all like this. Oh, some of my college girlfriends threw together a last minute Sex in the City of Toledo night, so uh, I'm going to get my Cosmo on. Oh, well, don't drink too much. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> all right, so the meeting of the Foxy Five will now come to order and I will read the minutes from the last meeting. Woohoo! <laughs> I move the minutes are approved. I second. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so updates all around the table. Kelly? Mr. Jameson just got a huge promotion, so Mrs. Jameson gets a new kitchen. Oh, oh. that you'll never go into. <laughs> all right, you're up, Lauren. Ted and I are almost done planning the wedding. Berkshire's snow, tons of alcohol, and the cutest ski hats with our wedding date embroidered on the pom pom. <laughs> you all better be there. No, can you wear the peach taffeta bridesmaid's dresses from Kelly's wedding? Oh, it'd be a shame not to see those again. Some of us won't fit in them anymore. You're not tough again. Sorry, Ev. Blush with child. <laughs> not drinking the ginger ale because I like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jackie, you're awfully quiet. Uh, because I got nothing. <laughs> same old, same old. You and me both, sister. Here's to the same old. <laughs> oh, uh, you know what? Wait, there is uh, one thing. Boing! <gasps> oh, oh, my God! God! Oh, yay. <laughs> Hallelujah! The last of the Foxy Five to get married! <laughs> hey, hello! What about me? Oh my God, that's right. You're still not married. You're kind of married. You're Toledo's wife. No, 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 no. I am to Toledo what Carrie Bradshaw was to New York. We're leba. <laughs> to Jackie and Steve. Steve? The chiropractor? Mr. Not Worth Waxing for? I know it sounds like I settled. It's okay. Passable? It's the new perfect. <laughs> Come on, we are on the wrong side of 30. I just sort of felt it was time to get real. I mean, the music stopped and I just sat down at the nearest chair. Well, good for you. And while you're all off being married and popping out adorable kids that will one day give you the finger, trust me, I've seen it. I will be your cool single friend and you'll all be wildly jealous of my freedom and lack of stretch marks, so let's drink to that. <laughs> Woohoo! Anybody? I'm home! Oh, good. Hey, um, here are the latest roses from Fletcher. <laughs> and a trash can at the ready. Ha, 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 very funny. Now, these are beautiful. Yeah, so, uh, dump them? Actually, no. I want to keep them. I'm sorry, did you hear me? I said that they're from Fletcher. Yeah, I heard you. Blonde, not deaf. Uh, we're still talking about uh, Fletcher McKay here, right? Uh, laugh a minute, Fletcher. Yeah, look, Joe, I was thinking a lot about what you said, you know, about, uh, about me pushing men away and finding flaws, and yeah, I think you're right. You know, nobody's perfect, and I think I'm gonna give Fletcher a try. Because sooner or later, the music stops, and you gotta sit down. This uh, music you're talking about, does anybody else hear it? Is it like a polka? <laughs> Where the heck is Ryder? I called him 10 minutes ago. It's his turn to set the table tonight. He's coming, he's coming. Sorry, Joe, I'm so hip, I can't feel my legs. Wow, those are some, some tight pants, bro. Are all your parts okay? I don't know, I can't feel those either. Well, you better get used to those pants if you're wearing them to school tomorrow. 
Isn't there another way? Yeah, why don't you just wear something from your Invisible Loser collection and see how that goes? <laughs> you look good. Suck it up. Believe me, everything possible is sucked up. <laughs> so who's the uh, girl? How do you know there's a girl? Oh, there's got to be a girl. Nobody's going to squash his grapes for the guys. <laughs> Come on, let's walk you around the block and get you used to it. I can't do it. Think of Kirsten. Kirsten, Kirsten, Kirsten. <laughs> Not working. Hello. Hey, hey. Wow, nice jeans. I have the same ones. I bet in the same size. <laughs> Can I help you with something? I'm waiting for Mel. Oh, she'll be down in a minute. Something better. Shoes, and then I stop listening. Beautiful flowers. What are they doing back here? They should be on display. Oh. I was right. They're from Fletcher. Boy, back from the dead, huh? Who saw that coming? Yeah. What happened there? Who said something happened? Things get raised from the dead all the time. <laughs> Stephanie, a couple of days ago, uh, she was about ready to dump him. Now she's sniffing his flowers. Between those two points in time is something that you know. Uh, um, I'm gonna go uh, help Mel with her shoes. Coming, Mel! Stephanie, um, are you doing something different with your hair? Uh... <laughs> Um, maybe I washed it. <laughs> no, it's just, um, it's this shampoo. It's got, uh... <sighs> an essence of coconut in it. It's, it's really just not fair. All the Foxy Five are coupled up except for Mel, and she's totally wigging out. She doesn't want to be the only single Foxy. <laughs> I'm so weak. Do you have any orange juice? Sorry, I had to do that to you, Steph. Don't be. Being sniffed by you is the highlight of my week. What do you say to lunch? Well, hello, lunch. How you doing? I'm sorry. Backspace, backspace. Um, I'd be delighted to have lunch. <laughs> oh, but before we go, look what I got for us. Tickets to see Ricky Gervais live Friday night at the Toledo Opera House, The Founder's Box. We'll be like those old men in The Muppets. <laughs> Ricky Gervais, yeah, he's that guy from the, and he was in that, um, wait, who's Ricky Gervais again? He's the funny comedian. And I'd love to go, but I'm driving to Chicago for my parents' 40th wedding anniversary. Rain check? Yeah, I mean, who needs to see the funniest guy on the planet? It's not like he's the funniest guy in the universe, because, you know, those comedy clubs in Mars, you can hear the laughs on Jupiter. I love how you talk. I have no idea what you're saying, but I enjoy your melody. Maybe that's what Mel is short for. Get it? Uh, so much funnier around you. Really? Um, you know, uh, well, Chicago, that's a, that's a long trip to take all by yourself. Maybe you need someone to come with you, you know? Someone to keep you company. Someone cute and fun who makes you laugh. <laughs> me, Fletcher, me. Oh, good. I thought you were talking about that Ricky Gervais guy again. Really? You'd, you'd come with me? Well, now that you ask, yeah, yeah, I would. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is kind of a big step for us. You meeting my entire family in one fell swoop? Yeah, well, I am ready for that swoop. You sure it's not too much too soon? No. No, it's good. Yeah, and I have no second thoughts at all. At all. Ryder, Lennox, school, right now. <laughs> oh, hey, good morning. Actually, fantastic morning. Um. Listen, would you be okay with watching the kids for the weekend? I was thinking about going away on a trip. Uh, I have a date planned somewhere in there, but yeah, sure, why not? I guess leaving the kids home alone for a few hours on the will be okay. So, yeah, running like the wind. <laughs> you and the ladies have a uh, foxy weekend. Oh, I'm not going with the foxies. No, this is a uh, going away with Fletcher weekend to Chicago for his parents' 40th anniversary wing ding thing. Wow, the whole family? That, that sounds serious. Oh, it's not that serious. No, I mean, judging from Fletcher in the history of genetics, that sounds serious. As in, you know, um, not a lot of laughs. No, he's getting funnier, okay? The other day he made sort of a joke. It was actually kind of sweet. He said my name Mel and that it was probably short for Melody. That is hilarious. <laughs> so seriously, what's, um, what the heck's going on here? What do you mean, what the heck's going on here? Well, look, I, I know you hate when I say things about your personal life. Yeah, but you say them anyway. Well, of course I do, because they're valuable, and at the end of the day, you appreciate them. Oh, is that what you tell yourself? I... Sorry, we're late. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, for a girl? Yeah, for a girl. 
Joe, shouldn't we be getting to school? What are you, the vice principal? We'll leave when we leave. <laughs> but you said... Two that... minutes. Okay. Hey, Ryder, you need any money for lunch? Oh, no, nothing could fit in my pockets. <laughs> hey, I'm not done with you. I didn't think you were. Look, you are pretending to like Fletcher, but you don't, okay? There, I said it. We're both thinking it, but now it's out in the open. Nobody was thinking it, and I am not pretending to like Fletcher. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. He's a wonderful guy whose charms I did not fully appreciate at first, but after spending... Oh, come spending... on, that is such bull. Look, look, look. All your college friends are either married or getting married, and now you're up there all alone. You know, there's one last marriage helicopter, and it's circling, and all of a sudden, some boring guy reaches out, and he goes, Come on, you're not getting any younger. Just give me your hand. <laughs> Oh, so being single is like the fall of Saigon? According to the uh, foxy ladies. How do you even know what we talked about anyway? I have my sources. Okay, so you said five or six nice things to Stephanie and she spilled. Only took two. Look, um, <laughs> you are settling and you know it. I am not settling, okay? I am reconsidering based on current options. Settling. I'm not. R2. No, I'm not. I'm going with Fletcher. Well, have a nice weekend. Fine, I will. Oh, and here. Two tickets to Ricky Gervais. Wow, the funniest guy on the planet. Yeah, I know. Enjoy. <laughs> Are we going to school? Will you get a life? <laughs>
were about an hour into the trip, and uh, I just, you know, I imagined me and Fletcher ten years from now in the same car with three kids in the back seat, and I just... Panicked? Yeah, what's a stronger word than that? Uh, mentally hurled? Yeah, I mean, it's two words, but you get the idea. Yeah, we, we stopped for gas, and Fletcher went inside to pay, and I, I just I jumped out of the car. I left my cell phone and my bags, and I just started walking. Okay, running. Wow. Um, I'm sorry. I mean, he seemed like he was okay. He was. He was massively okay. And together, we were perfectly okay. I just want more than okay, you know? Hey. Fletcher. I've been driving all around looking for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Are you all right? Yeah, Fletcher, I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have run off like that, but I just had to because... It's all right, as long as you're safe and all. I guess it just wasn't the right... Timing? Yeah, the right timing. Well, I guess I should uh, get back on the road. Sure, um, thanks for bringing my bags. Hey, Joe. Take care of her. You got it. Well, I'm sorry the uh, weekend didn't pan out as planned. Yeah, well, I'm sorry you missed her date. Oh, it's okay. She was kind of, um, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but what really sucks is we both missed Ricky Gervais. I bet if we haul our ass back to town, we could catch the last half hour of the show. Yeah, but I'm starving. Me too. I got an idea. Why don't we do a quick dinner, and then we can see the rest of the show. All right, because I know this restaurant nearby here that is awesome. Oh, I don't really like anything in there. Oh, come on. They got uh, egg salad? All right, fine, egg salad. I mean, for a sandwich, I can settle. Hey. This thing jam? Come on. Yo! Guys. What? What are you... Come on, Longo. Move it. What you... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, here. Oh, Boy Scout. Come on, go, 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 go. How could I have known he was already married? Like, um, like was married and got divorced already married? No, like married with another wife married. Mm, more wine? Yeah. Oh, ladies, I'm gonna run to the store. Do you need anything? More wine, lots more wine. Oh, who's this? Oh, nobody. Joe. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm Jackie. Sup? Oh, Jackie. Oh, you're the one that just got engaged. How's, uh, how's uh, your fiancé? Already married. <laughs> yeah, but I'm cool. You, uh, want me to come to the store with you? Uh... No, 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 sweetie. You stay here, okay? <laughs> you go. Go. Run. Run for your life. <laughs> You'd kill him, sweetie. 